we are talking about a little product. These guys here, these are the scooties. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the brand is right there in the middle. And these are a roller skate wheel locker. I heard about these a couple of months ago and I was so excited to get them. Uh, but I had to wait until they started to go on sale in stores. Um, the owner was trying to get them in store. She didn't want to sell them personally. And finally, after Rollercon, a few skate shops have decided to stock them. I, I personally picked these up from Pigeons Skate Shop. That was the only skate shop that was selling them at the time. But now I think a few others sell them. I'll put them in the on the video if I can find them um, and I think they retailed for 50 when I bought them from pigeons um, I'll put the exact price up and um, I think pigeons you can also use some discount codes with them so it'll you'll get a little a little bit off but yeah I was just really excited to use them Particularly because when I was trail skating a lot, I needed something like this. Um, I remember on one particular trail, uh, somebody had poured like at least two, one and a half, two miles worth of broken seashells on the trail. And I could only imagine that it was the owner's that of this like horse ranch it was like private property along this trail and like I don't think that they wanted people to go up there so I think they were trying to deter people from going up there also I remember another instance where I was on this trail and it had rained the day before so like part of the trail with water and like fills with mud and wet leaves and all this other nonsense um, that wouldn't have been there had it not rained the day before um, but at that point I just had to turn around because there was no way that I could traverse this, this <laughs> pond in the middle of the trail uh, so like in those instances I wish I could have had something like these so that I wouldn't have had to uh, resort to walking in the grass or turning around completely um, these would have come in handy these are these wheel lockers so I believe this is like a silicone and you can see that it has that little ridge in the in the middle these two openings go over the wheels it has a ribbed flat edge on both sides and it has this sort of lip too and it has a little stretch. It does come in, I believe, two different sizes, two or three different sizes. I will double check for y'all. Um, but this is a bigger size since I have bigger wheels. So let's let's try these babies out. So I will be trying the scooties out on these skates. Now this wheel is my OG wheels that I've I think these were pretty much the first set of wheels that I've ever, ever had they are the moxie gummy wheel and they are a 65 millimeter 78a they're pretty chonky um and they these this is my outdoor setup so this is what I would be using um when I would have an opportunity to use these goodies and the other set of wheels, other skate that I bought just to test it out, um, I wouldn't necessarily be using these particular wheels um, outside at all because they are a 92, which means they are a hard wheel. Um, but hey, maybe at a skate park situation, that, that would be appropriate but definitely not on a trail skate for me particularly I don't I do not like how hard wheels feel outdoors but I wanted to show it because it's a different size wheel definitely a size wheel that would be on an outdoor um, 
an outdoor setup. I think even the Luminous wheels, which are a hybrid wheel, is a 62 like this one. But I wanted to show it particularly because this wheel is pretty thin. So this is a thin wheel. I wanted to see how the scooties would, would be on this kind of wheel. Um, so yeah, let's try it out. Now I do want to say that I have tried these out before. I tried them out on the day of the skate marathon. I don't know if I put in that footage um, or I was just kind of saving it for this kind of uh, video, but I did try them out. Um, they were good until I started to slip a little bit and then I took them off because it was raining that day. The, um, the asphalt was very slick. Um, that trail also is cars are on it. Um, so I'm guessing like there was some like a little oil, maybe some oil spots were on it. Um, you know, there were wet leaves and all kinds of stuff. So I was just like, okay, you know what? We're not going to test this out in the rain. I'm not going to uh, trip and fall and not be able to complete the skate marathon messing with these this this wheel locker but um and then i also tested them out um when i first got them um so they came in just a simple bag um with just a a, a cardboard cutout on top you know with the name of the of the brand and all that and I think a QR code also was on it to show you how to use the scooties um, but yeah so those are the only two times that I tested them out I used them um, when I was leaving the rink so I walked along these mats I log walked along um, like bricks and concrete I walked along asphalt so and like on a decline on incline so i walked on a few different surfaces so i love that i was able to uh test them out on a couple of different surfaces sorry about the noise in the background y'all does take some getting used to so this is on concrete with my hard wheels it does feel like your wheels want to roll and also these wheels are rolling um, if you walk too briskly So this is what it's, what I love about this park 
so that you have different textures to walk on. That has some cracks in between. And then over here is that matte kind of material, which the scooties feel the most secure on. You have a harder brick. And then we have grass. here. I forgot about the asphalt. Unpainted and painted. looking like after that little walk As you guys can see, it is significantly harder to put them on with a bigger wheel. So I'm gonna take that off back there because I only got on the first one. But I'm gonna lean down, put these on, or sit down, put these on, and then we're gonna go about our business. We're gonna walk home. Now, they say that these are not shoes. They're not meant to replace shoes. Um, they're meant to traverse short, distances, short distances. Um, thankfully, I don't live too far away from this park. So we're gonna do that. Um, cross some streets. And since both of my elevators are broken right now, we're actually gonna go up some stairs. So let me get this other scooty on. Okay, so both of them are on and I tried it a different way this time. Um, every other time that I've used them, I put them on the outside wheel. This time I've put them 
on the inside wheel. And that actually feels worse. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be doing that again. Like I feel the roll more because the outside wheel is free. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see, I, cause I saw Rebel put it on the inside. Um, so I wanted to try it out, but yeah. So they're on. I was wondering if it would be easier to put them on. Um, if I put it on the inside, it was not. Whoop, tripped me up. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel the roll more. Um, but it feels weird. It's definitely a feeling that you have to get used to. Um, definitely need more practice in putting them on and off, but yeah. So let's do the test that we did. Felt okay on the, on the handball clerk concrete. See how it feels on this. Hmm. Feels okay. Okay. I'm gonna try the mat. My asphalt. about the same. Let's see, there's a mat. That feels more secure, for sure. And this mat is actually has a lot of texture on it as well. Let's see, grass. Grass feels great. This mat feels great. Let's see. Oh, that's a good test. Walking on this kind of crap. Whoop. A little. They definitely want to roll with this big, <laughs> on this big wheel. Sidewalk, sidewalk concrete. bit of a decline crossing the street Oop. A little decline crack Let's try this mat here. It's, it's also textured, but less so. Feels good. Okay. 
okay. Let's see. It smells good. Smooth linoleum. Now the stairs. Definitely holding on to the banister. So the stairs were a nice little test, but I would say stick to other means of getting up and down stairs. Um, you know, like toe stops for the win or taking off your skates. Cause definitely I felt I had to firstly go up at an angle to get the scooties on the stairs. I couldn't go up forward. Um, cause half my skate would be hanging off and that felt awkward. Also, like I said, <laughs> the other wheels are free. The wheels inside the scooties want to roll. So don't, don't, uh, test that. I did it. So you don't have to, uh, but overall, I definitely have to use them more to give a more fully well-rounded review of them. Um, and from the get-go, the thinner wheel and slightly smaller wheel was easier to get in and out of the Scooty. The, this chunky 6578A Moxie Gummy Wheel was definitely harder. Um, putting it on the inside was harder than putting it on the outside for me. Also, um, putting it on the outside felt more secure to me. Definitely just use them more to get faster and putting them on and off because that's the whole point of them for me is to, you know, use them in a pinch. You don't want to be sitting there for 10 minutes trying to get them on <laughs> when you could have just took off your skate that, um, defeats the purpose for me. So probably have to, um, just use them more to try and get used to putting them on and taking them off faster. Um, I am going to look into the different size options again. I thought I chose the correct one for my size, but who knows? So I'm going to double check that, but yeah, I will make sure to come back and give an updated review full review of them uh once i use them more i'm interested in knowing if y'all are thinking about getting these or we're thinking about getting these do y'all have any alternatives for um when you see an obstacle on the trail besides taking off your skates is there anything else i could have looked into getting into um but yeah thank y'all so much for watching please like comment, subscribe, especially comment. I love reading the comments. I respond to all of them. Might take me a little while, especially if I don't see them. Um, but I do respond to them. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.